we will be performing a dynamic stick dead bug. So we're progressing from the dead bug iso hold where we just held the position, focus on creating tension, keeping those ribs down back flat while we just held the arms in the more flexed position. Now we're gonna be creating motion, we're gonna be working on creating that same stability and then maintaining that while we move the opposite arm, opposite leg. So we're gonna be the same setup here. So I'm just gonna start on my back. Legs will be straight, make sure my back is nice and flat. I'll take the stick up overhead. I'm gonna take one knee up to 90 degrees. So I have 90 degrees at the ankle, 90 at the knee, 90 at the hip. So again, like we did the last video, we could start hand relatively over the shoulder. The more I come up over the top of my head, the harder it's gonna be because now I have longer levers. So we'll start here, stick into the knee, knee drives back up, my back stays flat the entire time. So last time what we did is we just held here, worked on creating that tension, and you can still do that kind of as a primer just to get everything moving. And then we're gonna start up, so now I have 90 degrees, arm is straight up overhead, and then I'm just gonna extend right arm, left leg, keep that same tension, back stays flat, ribs stay down, get as far as I can go, come straight back up. So we can do that for reps, right? So I drive in, hold, create that stability, stay tight, come straight back up under control. So I could do my reps on the first side, switch sides, just go there, and then just complete the prescribed sets and reps on those legs there. What I could also do if I need to regress it, I could be here, start with this arm a little farther in, and then instead of going out this way, now what I could do is I could take my left leg and then just tap that heel to the ground, straight back. Really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to work as far as I can before that back wants to come up, right? So if I reach out here, back comes off the ground, rib shoot out, that means I need to either stop a little sooner or I can just take that heel to the floor and just focus on maintaining that same tension. What we could also do too is we could just stay here, get down to the bottom, take a breath, and then come back up. So you could break your reps up just exhaling as you go out. If you get down to the bottom, you can hold that position at the bottom, take a breath or two, come back up to the start position. You can make it more challenging by taking your arm further overhead. Pulling at the bottom, you can make it less challenging. But instead of straightening your leg out, you just tap that heel on the floor. Because again, that would be a shorter lever, so easier for us to control that core and pelvis position. Really what's most important is that we can create the stability, create the tension, and then maintain that tension while we move, and more importantly, while we breathe. So those are dynamic dead bugs. Those are our exercises that we create the stability, create the stiffness, and then we move through them. So you could count reps, you could count breaths, you could count the amount of time you hold each rep. There's a lot of variables that you can play around with. Give those a shot, I think you'll like them.